For years it had an image problem, but no more. Burberry is cool again, and tonight London Fashion Week welcomed home this very British brand. Burberry show a must for fashion's famous. For me, you know, I just I think Burberry is very, very British. That's how it feels. From the stars of Slumdog Millionaire to the odd fashion conscious lord, they all wanted to be there for Burberry's catwalk comeback. The company sees itself as being as British as Harry Potter. Apt then that the new face of Burberry is actress Emma Watson. It's such an exciting night for Burberry, you know. We haven't been back in London for 10 years, celebrating 25 years of London Fashion Week. It's just a, it's a massive night for Burberry, massive. Burberry was born in Basingstoke 150 years ago. It's the company that invented the trench coat for the British Army and today sells everything from jeans to handbags and shoes all over the world. In the last five years, the company's revenues have doubled. The luxury fashion house is now a serious player. I think they've taken a very traditional, and forgive me, but rather fuddy-duddy brand and completely reinvented it without losing its sense of British heritage, and that is not an easy thing to do. Christopher Bailey is the young Brit credited with turning Burberry around and the man who moved Burberry's show from Milan to London. I haven't seen Lord Mandelson yet, but I know he was, uh, he was out there, um, as was Samantha Cameron. Um, and, you know, I don't know, it's just it's amazing to, to have such support, you know, and, um, you know, it, it's wonderful that politicians are supporting British fashion. British it may be, but Burberry's products are now all made abroad. Two years ago it closed its factory in Wales with the loss of 300 jobs. But its image survived. The company's resurgence in the last five years, nothing short of remarkable. The buzz at London Fashion Week proof that Burberry is back. Simon Newton, Sky News.